Samsung has just started rolling out the second beta for One UI 4, adding the first touches of Google's Material U to its Android 12 based software. The second beta also fixes up a few bugs, but most of what we're focusing on here today are the visual changes. So the biggest change in One UI 4 Beta 2 is the introduction of Dynamic Color, which Samsung is calling Color Theme. Like Android 12 on a Pixel, your Galaxy S21 can now create an individual color palette for you based on your home screen wallpaper. This works just as you'd expect if you're familiar with Dynamic Color on a Pixel. After choosing your wallpaper, you're presented with a choice of three palettes. The effect is pretty subtle compared to what you'd see on a Pixel. One UI is still either very bright or very dark, depending on what your dark mode setting is, but still, you'll notice buttons, icons, sliders, and other parts of the UI taking on these background and accent colors. And you'll spot them in various places throughout the interface. Right now, this mostly applies to Samsung's own built-in apps like the Calculator and Dialer, as well as the System UI and the Settings app. Samsung's color theme actually doesn't work with Google Apps at present, even if you're running the latest version of apps like Gmail or Meet, which technically have been updated to use Material U and do so without a hitch if you're using a Pixel. Curiously though, these colors do seem to be applied to the home screen widgets for these apps, but again, this is a beta version, so bugs are to be expected. Anyway, this is the first step towards more color customization in Samsung's UI, and it's great to see the company taking after Google and introducing a bit more vibrancy into its interpretation of Android 12. This being the first build to feature dynamic colors, there are of course a few bugs to be worked out, and we'd expect those to be addressed as the One UI 4 beta continues. So what else is new in this second beta? Well, Samsung has introduced a new feature called RAM Plus into this build. It's basically virtual memory, which PC nerds will know most desktop OSs have had for decades, and the idea itself dates back to the 1960s. Basically lets your phone siphon off a section of its internal storage to act like RAM, which can help improve performance or keep apps running if you start to run out of actual RAM. For example, if you start playing a particularly demanding game. There are no options for this setting, it's just there and switched on all the time. On my Galaxy S21 Ultra, it adds another 4 gigs of virtual RAM onto the 16 gigs of physical RAM in there, because hey, why not, I guess? So on a high-end phone, you'll probably never notice this feature, but entry-level models might benefit a little bit more. Despite what other brands might tell you though, this isn't the same as adding more real, actual RAM to your phone, that's not how this works. Samsung also says it's added new microphone modes for video calls, with the ability to emphasize voice sounds more, though this doesn't appear to be active on our US Galaxy S21 here, which instead uses Google Duo for video calls. Beyond that though, it's your standard selection of bug fixes and performance improvements, though once again, we're still seeing plenty of lag and drop frames in places on this US Galaxy S21 Ultra, so it's clear there's still plenty of work still to be done. We're expecting the final version of One UI 4 to drop sometime around the end of the year, so stick with Android Central and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.